This is a preview of the lecture video on the topic gas in the urinary bladder. Short uh, clippings of the various parts of the lecture video will follow for you to preview. Having gone through the preview, if you wish to listen to the main lecture video, go to sonoshare.in and uh, there is gas within the urinary bladder. So the gas outlines the urinary bladder. Uh, normally it will be opaque but here it is uh, uh, filled with gas. So when you do ultrasound in this patient this will be the where the similar appearance will be seen is gas within the wall of the urinary bladder uh, a dirty shadow. So now uh, this is the appearance. So how to confirm uh, that there is uh, gas within the uh, lumen of the urinary bladder and it is not uh, in the bowels or not in the wall. So the useful technique, simple technique is just dip the probe uh, shadowing because of the dipping the air gets um, separated into two giving a fluid filled um, uh, gas. So when you dip the probe if it is in the lumen it will get displaced but in the wall the gas within the wall will remain the same and which remains same in spite of pressure showing that it is well contained within the wall which happens in emphysematous anterior bladder and you see anterior part little gas and uh, whereas here you see most of the bladder is normal but you see a single bubble of the gas moves to the left side and you will see the gas column in the left side with dirty shadow uh, within the domain of the urinal. So now with all this you have confirmed that there is gas uh, within the urinary bladder and uh, this is um, the when you put on color you see uh, a lot of color due to um, the uh, color bleeding because of the mark that can cause intermittent obstruction to the urethra. So patient may um, present as intermittent obstructed stream. So the bulb is uh, a proof of in instrumentation. But if there had been a catheterization and catheter has been removed, uh, sigmoid colon. So you suspect um, uh, uh, colovesicle uh, fistula. So and you also see uh, not only gas, you also see uh, the uh, fecal masses escaping into the and we also see uh, fecal masses in the urinary bladder and when you see you see there is a tract extending uh, uh, you can give a diagnosis of uh, carcinoma of sigmoid colon with a colo vesicle urinary bladder to uh, slightly thick walled colon there. So you suspect whether it is colo vesicle fistula but you are not seeing the flat uh, uh, confirming that it is colo vesicle fistula. So now we have diagnosed gas in the colon which is uh, not thick walled but you see uninflamed diverticula here and here. So this is um, uh, uninflamed diverticula in the proximal colon with the colo vesicle tract from the bladder to the rectum and the rectum uh, that indicates rectovesical fistula and if you see closely you and when you do look for the uh, bladder you see there is florid uh, mucosal thickening in the left side of the base of the urinary bladder. So when you look carefully for um, to uh, the posteriorly placed rectum which contains gas. So this may be a fistula tract from the bladder to the rectum. So rectovesical fistula. So here we don't see um, the uh, uh, flat cycle tube sign gas bubble and when you look for that um, thick walled uh, bladder in one particular area there is marked thickening of the wall of the urinary bladder with a gas filled tract extending from partial obstruction to the bowel with the non stratified thickening of the wall of the uh, small bowel which has infiltrated the bladder with uh, small bowel. So that may indicate an enterovesical fistula but there was no uh, live uh, sign of uh, flat tire to gas in the urinary bladder and there is Foley's bulb uh, uh, in the uh, bladder and you see a thick walled small bowel loop adjacent to it and there is a uh, uh, fistula tract confirming that it is enterovesical gas in the prostate with uh, 
the reverberation artifact dirty shadow and when you turn to longitudinal scan you see the prostate and actually the gas is in the uh, prostatic urethra and uh, uh, and when you draw the probe uh, uh, you see the gas in the urinary bladder and with the dipping you see that there is uh, uh, the column separating into two confirming that uh, calculi uterus and uh, you see what is uh, that that is the IUCD so you don't see the IUCD in the it has fallen to the dependent part whereas the calculus 2 remains there itself indicating that it is fixed indicating that the calculus here is fixed to the wall of the urinary bladder but on close look you see an echogenic um, linear uh, along the axis you will see that is the calculus and then you see the vertical limb of the IUCD extending through the short axis scan here how will it looks that is the bladder and you see the calculus in the urinary bladder and next scan when you move you see uh, the next scan through the vertical limb uh, diagrammatic representation of the uh, diagnosis the urinary bladder there are two calculi there is in the uh, patient gives history of surgery for inguinal hernia some years back so on um, so it could be migrated mesh so then you uh, when you are looking for uh, the mesh uh, extension you see a single bubble of a loop of a uh, small bubble so in real time you can see the mesh extending through the bladder entire tube sign gas bubbles escaping from the left ureteric orifice so you look at the kidney they see um, the gas present in the wall all along the uh, entire wall of the he gave uh, something like a suggestion of a incontinence so in with this history we suspect um, uh, vesico vaginal fistula the vesico vaginal fistula a wall of the vagina with the posterior wall of the urinary bladder both seen together here when you trace that there is a rent confirming the uh, uh, vesico vaginal fistula vaginal fistula and uh, you can see the anatomy better pubic symphysis urethra vagina bladder and uterus and you see a few air bubbles outlining the uh, to the gut and uh, also vesico vaginal fistula and there can be gas in the wall of the urinary bladder in emphysematous pyelonephritis of course when they, you see escape of 